up, Grumpy? You're not on the golf cart. Well, you got a better view up there to supervise me this afternoon? Is that what's going on? All right. Good evening from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Wednesday. 72, sunny, uh, very, very, very lovely day. And I've been outside working most of the day. Um, and I plan on taking a nap. I plan on taking a nap every day that I can take a nap. But it wasn't in the works today, so I got a little afternoon coffee going for me to get me through this evening. Just lots of, lots of chores I got to do. But, so, since I'm not taking a nap, I might as well try to film a video. And that's what I'm doing. I noticed these two irises blooming a couple days ago. But today was the first day I had a chance to go have a closer look at them. And during all those winds the other night, a, a branch had come off the tree and landed on them and, and knocked them over. So I found them and I just thought I'd snag them out of the ground real quick so I can bring them here. I have, I've seen that light blue lavender. I've seen irises that color here before. But this is the first time I remember seeing an orange one. So, yeah. I'll at least enjoy them for a few days here. Is that you, Fifers? You like the flowers, Fifi? I picked them just for you, Fifi. You want to come smell? No. I've got a few of these two tone purple and light pink. These are actually growing in the chicken run of Larry's flock. I've seen lots of these before on this property. They are very cool. What's up, Betty and Vicky? Those two are bestest of friends. They hang out together. They're always right next to each other on the roost. Yep. Betty White, Vicki Lawrence, everybody. Hey, little Welsomer, Dragonberry sister, Wildberry's daughter. Uh, I, I just sent some of your eggs home with Pine Knot Family Farm. Yes, I did. And you're in here with Larry the White and True Blue, so you will produce some nice medium green eggers. And Private Benjamin, I'm probably hatching every egg of yours that I can get. You and Larry here have produced a lot of fine children. And I really like that you pass along that beard and uh, muffs. Mary Tyler Moore and Mary Tyler Moore's olive egg daughter. <laughs> they probably don't even know, but they're chickens, so it doesn't matter. I'm hatching your eggs too, Mary Tyler Moore. They're not as big as they used to be, but they're still awesome for hatching. And you're laying plenty of them. You're over, you're averaging more than five eggs a week, Mary Tyler Moore. Keep it up. Those irises are nice. So let's go check out the Sweet Williams and there was an old shed here that was full of junk and trash and Drew and a crew of people tore it down when they were working on the tiny cabin and then uh, Pine Knot Family Farm and Levi came down uh, with that skid steer and uh, cleaned up all of the junk and trash that had been in there and a lot of that uh, that metal siding stuff that I took down to the new place came off of the shed that was sitting here. But, so after all that was done, there was some bare ground here, and I just got some wildflower seed packets and threw them out, and I'm having fun with them this year. And we've got a, we've got a new variety that has popped up. Uh, some type of little yellow thing. And look at all the other blooms, so that's going to be cool in a few days. But yeah, I think the uh, Dianthus Sweet William, and they are gorgeous.
loving this mug. It's metal and uh, I think it's double walled, but it really retains the heat of the coffee very well. And it's got a nice sip lid on it. And yeah, this was gifted to me. But uh, yeah, I should figure out how to put a Bobblehead Enterprises logo on this, on mugs like these, because I really like them. Yeah, coffee helped me out this evening. Yesterday at Atwood's, I picked up a new waterer. And these are three gallon. So these are three gallon waterers as opposed to the one gallon waterers I have been using. But I picked up uh, another one and that gives me five. These are the little one gallon waterers I've been using forever. And um, there's a reason why I was still using those. These are about 10 bucks a piece. Whereas the new ones, these three gallon waterers are 27 bucks a piece, 30 bucks with tax. So 30 bucks for one of these or 10 bucks for the other one. And what, uh, well, it's just been cheaper for me because I've, you know, gradually added a flock here and there. Uh, you know, 20 bucks, go get two new waterers. And so that was a little bit cheaper. But lately, every time I've sold some baby chicks, I've uh, used the proceeds to get another one of these. So I have five right now out of my seven uh, flocks. And yeah, jury's still out. I'm liking them for the most part. A uh, gallon of water uh, weighs eight pounds. So those are roughly, you know, 25 pounds. And that's, you know, I can pick it up and carry it, but today I did all five of them in a row. Um, yeah, another one in that flock over there. And uh, I did all five of them in a row. And that, uh, that wasn't such a great idea. So what I'm gonna have to do is spread out my workload a little bit and not do all of them at the same time. But, uh, and one thing, I, I don't like leaving just one water source when I leave for the day because, you know, they'll knock it over. So I always like to leave two water sources. So that's why every time I uh, added another flock, I get two of them so that I've, you know, when I go away. And it's also easier for me to rotate. So uh, less trips back and forth out here to the coops. But yeah, so I'm happy so far with them. It's been quite, an, uh, quite a little investment, but I've been reinvesting uh, every time I sell baby chicks to get a few more of these. Well, get another one of these waters, because five of them is that's 150 bucks over the past, past few weeks. Luckily, I've sold that many chicks. I was gonna skip a video and take a nap, but it turned out the other way around. I skipped a nap and, and did a video. And it turns out I had a, a lot to talk about, apparently. And I've got some more to talk about. Last night, another group of eggs went into lockdown. So those are going to be hatching uh, Thursday night, Friday. And let's see, they went into, separated into three different incubators because they've got three different types hatching. I got one big batch of the black, blue, splash, copper, marron. So it's dark, chocolate brown eggs. Uh, so I got a big batch of those. Then I've got a handful of the Moran's um, crossed with the Americana hens and I am uh, really anxious <laughs> for them to start laying eggs in six months. Uh, those should be a deep olive green, which I haven't produced yet here. So I'm looking forward to those. And Pine Knot Family Farm got some of those hatching eggs. Let's see, and then the third group was uh, White and True Blue, uh, Larry. He is in with one of my Welsomers and one of my Black Copper Morons. And they don't lay as dark of an egg. Bob is hitting the camera. The, the, that specific uh, black copper marons uh, does not lay as dark of an egg as my other one. So I put her in with Larry. And with those, I can produce like a medium green or a, uh, even a light green olive egg or with speckles that I'm hoping on those. Um, so those are the three, three types of baby chicks that are due to hatch here in a few days. And here's my egg haul for today. I put it behind the cab so that they're out of the sun. It's starting to get warmer uh, in the sun down here, and I don't want to, you know, bake them. <laughs> so, uh, 52 eggs today, and that is my average. Uh, in April, 1,564 eggs divided by 30 days is 52 eggs, uh, and a little bit more, but 52 eggs a day was my average in April and today May the 5th I got 52 again 
Some of these are candidates for hatching, either myself or passing them along. Uh, that is a Moran's, a black copper Moran's, and she is in with Larry the Whiting True Blue Rooster. So uh, she will be a olive egg or a medium green. Uh, so that's a potential hatching egg. And let's see, two, four. These six are all Whiting True Blues. So those are all potential hatching eggs. Um, I like that one and that one. Those are Private Benjamin and Mary Tyler Moore. I can just tell by the shape. And then those two and the color. Um, then those two are pretty big and have been consistent. That one, that one I'd probably go with also. So yeah, lots of hatching eggs there. And then this is uh, Daryl's flock, white and true blues. So there's five of them there. Uh, that one and maybe that one. Those would be the two that would be hatching candidates. Then we move over to Dragonberry, the Welsimer's flock. Uh, those two are from my two Welsimer hens in there. So those would be purebred Welsimers. And those are definitely candidates for hatching. Uh, then we move to my black, blue splash copper marons flock. I got two, three uh, nice dark eggs out of there. I got my four leg horns, uh, three Americanas, and that's an olive egg. But so those three uh, black blue splash copper marons would be candidates. And uh, maybe that one, an Americana. Uh, Moran's cross with an Americana. I'm hoping for some deep, uh, deep olive green eggs from that. That'd be cool. And then the last two flocks, nothing that I would be hatching out of there. Oh yeah, and flock number five. Uh, that's my black copper Moran's flock. And one of my black copper Moran's eggs got busted. And you can see the remnants on that little Easter egg or egg. So that was a bummer. And that, that was a chore I had to do today was clean out that nesting box because they got it all icky with a raw egg. And it's Fifi over there. I catch her and Bob both doing that several times a day. They're good little hunters. Hey Fifi, what are you hunting for? I know what you're hunting for, mice. Well, at least I think so. Bob caught a mouse and brought it in the tiny cabin last night, like he always does. I don't like it when Bob does that. I like it when he catches the mice, though. Atwoods in Russellville is one of my favorite places for uh, chicken breeding supplies. And I noticed there, and uh, tractor supply I go to in Boonville because it's closer. But those are my two main uh, stops. Although now there's a feed store in Waldron that I like going to when I'm uh, down in that area. But anyway, the last few times I've been to the, that Atwoods or Tractor Supply, they are running low on some things. Atwoods was completely out of chick starter. Com well, not completely. They had the small, what, uh, three pound bags, five pound bags, whatever, that are way overpriced. If you've only got a few, you know, chicks, that's not a big deal. But for me, I need a big old 50 pound bag. I need two big old 50 pound bags. So they were out of out of the chick uh, starter. And that's, uh, yeah, uh, Tractor Supply had been running lower on some of their different brands of feed. And those waterers, uh, those smaller one gallon ones, normally they got like 50 of them sitting on the shelf. They only had a handful on the shelf. Same with the three gallon waterers like the one that I just got. Uh, you know, normally they got 20 of those sitting on the shelf and they only had a handful. And so, yeah, that's just, uh, I don't know if it's a supply or demand issue, uh, but I got to think it's a demand issue if we're going through anything this year like we did last year. There were a lot of people out there getting into backyard chickens last year, and that's, uh, that's a good thing if you ask me. So that's one thing I've noticed is, um, yeah, you might, you might uh, be in for a shock if you have to get something like I need need a chick starter so that cost me another hour I had to go all the way across town to tractor supply and they uh, they didn't have their normal selection so they were out of a couple of the varieties one of them that I normally get so yeah that cost me another hour across town and back just to get some chick starter yesterday yeah stock up on stuff that's all I can say about that and I'll stop rambling and that's it for today it was a lovely day outside just perfect for me to be out doing stuff uh, i might have an idea for a video tomorrow 
we'll see about that. I take things a uh, day at a time. I have no idea. Uh, what tomorrow usually holds for me as far as my energy and ability levels. Thanks for watching. Thanks for a great April. Uh, I'll try to keep pumping them out here in May. Take her easy, everybody.